Dysfunctional Viewers. I am your host, Jesus Figueroa, at Dysfunctional of Dysfunctional.com. And today I'm going to get to chat with three of the cast members of Hulu's Letter Kenny Dylan Playfair, who plays Riley, Andrew Herr, who plays Jonesy, and Mark Forward, who plays Coach. Letter Kenny Season 9 kicks off post fight with Dirks, and the Hicks, Skids, and hockey players attend an American Buck and Doe. Katie takes her scorched earth dating strategy back to Letterkenny and Gail gets some action of her own. Meanwhile, the hockey players learn about Judaism and the whole town gets really into sleepover activities like movies, board games, and girl talk. Then a competing restaurant opens in Letterkenny and Tannis starts her own energy drink. Check out this interview with Dylan Playfair, Andrew Herr, and Mark Forward. Congratulations on this. A season nine is hilarious. It continues to be an incredibly funny, fast-paced show. Thank you. How Thank you. enjoyable is it to work on this? Because it seems like you guys have so much fun from what we get to see. So much fun. We you, do. You're not, yeah, you're uh, right. <laughs> yeah, your read's not off. We uh, we call it summer camp. You know, going out and working on that show. You're you're working with some of the best people in the industry some of some of our best friends out, outside of acting making uh some of the best tv I, I think i've ever seen or been a part of so it's a little bit of a dream scenario and and not to, to sound too idealistic but it, it truly is a, a very very special thing to be a part of and we have a ton of fun doing it i second that motion <laughs> I totally disagree. Um, <laughs> I don't feel any of that, and uh, no one wants to hang out with me ever. But I guess. Yeah, he's a bit of a social pariah on set. You kind of just keep we away from him when they say action. Put on some deodorant, it'll make a big difference. But yeah. What? No I, hey, I have the <laughs> biggest worry of smelling. <laughs> <laughs> he actually smells very good. He smells know, really good. Yeah, yeah. You Mark hit me is. right where it hurts. <laughs> I hope I don't smell because that is my biggest concern. So I, I, I say it because he smells so good. It, it was okay. the only thing I can remember from, from hugging him. You know, Son of a... a very, <laughs> yes, a very fresh-smelling man. Say, I don't want to get the wrong impression out there. It smells amazing. <laughs> Uh, after so many seasons of this show, uh, how much of your own personality have you put into your characters? Zero. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there you go. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm mostly joking. I, I think yeah, every role you put a bit of you in it. Um, uh, but I think Andrew's lot. further away from Jonesy than maybe Dylan is from Right, right yeah fair. perhaps yeah, yeah that's, that's a little bit perhaps. Perhaps. yeah that, 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 that's, I, fair. I, that's fair i mean dylan's came more from like a hockey background like just more hockey family i think maybe understands it a little bit more but i would say i don't know where both, going. i don't know we're, yeah we both bring like aspects of our personality to it for sure yeah. yeah i think my like dylan's sense of humor I, I really feel comfortable playing Riley because I just do the things that I think are funny. I think there are some projects where you're bringing yourself to the role, but you're trying to fit a mold that works within that setting. Whereas Riley, I, I, I have a real sense of freedom in, in what he thinks is, is funny is really what I think is funny. And it, it seems to, to, to gel well in the, uh, in the context of the show. <laughs> Throughout the, the nine seasons, these characters seem to evolve so naturally. How fascinating has it been for you guys seeing how your your characters have grown and evolved over the seasons? I, I'm uh, I always say to Jared, I'm I'm always uh, amazed that you know Coach isn't dead. Like um, <laughs> I I really expected him to be dead after the first season, and then um, he's been kind enough to bring me back. I. I I love how he's evolved. I, I love playing him. I love the writing. Jared's writing of him is, I don't have to bring much to it because it's it's there on the page. So um, he's, he's so fun to play. I mean, who wouldn't want to go to work and lose their shit on everybody? Get all your stress out and tell everybody, really to, <laughs> tell really everybody where to, to go. 
It's really hard to what? Face is really hard to keep a straight face when Mark's on set because he's he's so good at giving people shit. Um, and he's just really funny, and he's has even though a lot of it's written, he still has the odd uh, improv lines that we don't see coming that makes it even extra hard to keep a straight face. So I personally am not surprised that Mark has lasted this long as coach. He's just kind of a, I mean, he's like, we were talking about this in a previous interview. He's kind of like our father figure now. Um, even though, you know, I always thought that Riley and Jonesy maybe didn't have dads and like, they were like became best friends, like at one. And that's why they're so protective of their moms. And as fucked up as coach is, you know, he's kind of, uh, taking on that father figure role. Um, and uh, we listen to him most of the time. So I really like that, that progression. It's been fun. Yeah. Jared, Jared's incredible. He, he really, oh man, every, every time I read the, the new seasons, I'm quite literally laughing out loud going through the scripts. Um, you know, and then that's a huge part of the excitement of coming to set is getting to bring those scenes to life and seeing and, and hearing how each character is going to deliver those lines. And now after nine seasons, I think you start to read the characters and you almost hear their voices off the script but it, it's always funnier when uh when the talented actors of letter can bring those those words to life it's uh it's always fresh and exciting there's some really outrageous lines to the to the the show what how, how do you guys keep from not laughing during shooting we don't. We don't. We don't. <laughs> we don't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We had to cheat it with angles and ADR. <laughs> I'd shoot it over and over and over again. It's not I think easy that at all. Valentine episode for me was just like impossible to because the room was just filled with everybody. <laughs> I, and I hadn't been in a lot of those scenes. You guys have done them where everybody's all together, but I hadn't been in one where everyone yeah. was there. And it's just it's impossible not to laugh because it's yeah. fun. Yeah. it's really really funny it's really funny you gotta those are the days that generally take a little bit longer because it is waiting for the laughter to die down and, and holding a straight face and yeah. keeping it uh keeping it together but it's, a well, it's also to too when you're reading the script and it and it says i say to dylan and i want to fuck you uh, i know i know for weeks going in that i'm dead saying that i know i'm dead i know it's gonna that one's gonna take some time so you pick out the ones and you go, yeah, that's going to be impossible. It's going to take an hour to fuck. Film. Let's it's fuck. Not, it's not, it's not, <laughs> it's not, and I think there's a couple of shots where the camera's over my shoulder on coach and you can see my cheeks. Like I'm just pointing the grin and you can see my, like, my crow's feet from my laughing so hard. So, uh, yeah, I, get, I guess I owe my early aging to, to Mark Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Well, congratulations, guys. Thank you very much for your time and hey, have a great rest of your day. Thank you. you. Check out all nine seasons of Letterkenny streaming now on Hulu. Check out more of my stuff at dysfunctional.com. Follow me on social media at dysfunctional on Twitter and Instagram, dysfunctional LA on Facebook, dysfunctional on Snapchat. Check out my YouTube and subscribe, youtube.com slash dysfunctional. Check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash dysfunctional. And my subreddit, r slash dysfunctional. Thanks for watching and have a good one.